Hello everybody, this is Ulrich and Dermot. We are at the BBC, which is the British... British Brainwashing Corporation. That's right, that... UKKFA are here, defending the DPRK, doing what it says on the tin, defending the DPRK, uh, with no ifs and buts. And we're here exposing the lies and the demonization of the British Broadcasting Corporation, which is just serving the interests of the Americans. And KFE Scandinavia is represented here with me, and um, I look very forward to this picket, and uh, there will be some nice speeches. Okay, there's no rush. Okay, so you're from BBC and No, I'm well, I'm a member of the security team. Oh, so yes, so I'm, 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 I'm just asking. The most beautiful flag in the world. What is he doing? Is it like a, is it a protest, photo opportunity? Good afternoon, Portland Place. Good afternoon, BBC. This is the picket called by the UK Korean Friendship Association to protest against the truly awful and horrendous coverage of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, also known, known as North Korea or Socialist Korea or People's Korea. The BBC, which is known to progressive people as the British Brainwashing Corporation, has consistently lied about the DPRK. Its coverage of the DPRK is one-sided and exaggerated, to say the least. On several occasions, BBC reporters, such as Rupert Wingfield Hayes, used tricks and subterfuges to enter the DPRK under of course pretenses. Mr Wingfield Hayes, in May 2016, admitted that his coverage of the DPRK was inaccurate and false. It would take too long to list all the lies told by the BBC about the DPRK. But let's just give you a few examples. On the 10th of February 2016, the BBC reported that former Chief of General Staff of the Korean People's Army, General Ri Young Gil, had been executed. However, this was proved to be false. General Ri was elected to a position at the 7th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea held in May 2016 and was promoted in April 2017 and was promoted again last year and he is now Chief General Staff of the Korean People's Army again. Quite good for someone who was supposed to be dead. BBC consistently demonises and smears the DPRK by constantly using cliches like impoverished, totalitarian and isolated. Rather than being impoverished, the DPRK has a rapidly growing economy, as we've witnessed when we visited it. It is a people-orientated society, and rather being isolated, it has diplomatic relations with 160 countries. Recently, the BBC, in their propaganda drive, against People's Korea, broadcast a report by the US-based and George Soros-funded entity Human Rights Watch. The report was based on the words of defectors who will say anything to get money in their pockets. In fact, the DPRK is one of the safest countries in the world. Why doesn't the BBC investigate the sexual abuse of South Korean women by U US soldiers, which is very common? Because the BBC should not criticise others for sexual abuse, because they employed Jimmy Savile, who abused women and girls over many years. Dear comrades, which are present here today, and the one going to see this later, it's a great and important picket that we are being a part of today. And to see this work done by Dr. Dermot Hudson next to me is fantastic. We have to tell the world that BBC are trying to brainwash people all around the world and they have done this for decades by telling lots of lot of lies about the DPR of Korea, also known as North Korea. BBC are such a big media that unfortunately can be seen worldwide 
and they keep bringing lies after lies, not only about the DPR Korea, but many other things that do not fit in their world of evil capitalism. And they do, and they do just as they are told by countries like the United States and the so-called Allied. A TV station should be neutral in the news and the programs that they broadcast to the world. But instead they keep banging the DPR Korea and the people that love and support this great nation by making us look like fools and stupid people. How can they allow themselves to treat a country, its people and the supporters like this? The board of BBC must be paid by agencies like the CIA, NSA and MI6 and probably by the White House too. This is the only answer I do have to this. In Spain, Mr. Alejandro Carlos Pinos founded the KFA International in 2001 to fight for the DPRK by building up a network of people that could see how the outside world was making lies and jokes about the proud nation that today are led with great humanity by Great Marshal Kim Jong-un. Mr. Pinos has made a network all over the world with official delegates in many countries. I have my own area in Scandinavia, and that's the country Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. In the UK, there is Dr. Dermot Hudson, who does a great job by defending the DPR of Korea from all the lies. Unfortunately, every time one of the ODs has to give an interview or BBC do a report, they twist the word and make it look like someone just fell down to earth. They never want to show the truth, giving very little time to speak or simply rewrite the stories from the people that, they know, that know the great nation of the DPR of Korea also, again, known as North Korea, if you have any doubt inside there. When will British Brainwashing Corporation start making the real stories from DPRK? Stories about, number one, how caretaking the great leader, Kim Jong-un, is to the people. Number two, the great school system that is free to the people. Number three, how new houses and shops are blooming up all over Pyongyang and the country. Number four, the public transportation system with very low fare, which we cannot say it's in, uh, happening here in the UK. Number five, free doctors and free dentists. Number seven, tell about how skilled the Korean people actually are compared to people all around the world. And number seven, why the country is so strong. And every time the DPRK are making a missile test or sending up a satellite, the BBC are among the first to broadcast that the US and NATO condemn the test. But they are never one bad word broadcast or written if the US or other nation making any test. Then it's just all fine. BBC, what you just heard is the truth about your brainwashing cooperation. When will you be able to be a trustful media? One day you will see and you will learn that you have been making bad news and lies for decades regarding the North Korea and that you have been brainwashing people from outside countries and allies but really are the true access to zero. Thanks again, Dr. Dermot Hudson, for letting me be a part of this great picket today. And thank you to the British Brain Motion Corporation for letting me speak here today. I'm Ulrich Larsen from KFA Scandinavia, Denmark, Norway, Sweden, and Finland. And I'm together with all my comrades here, so thank you for letting me speak. Thank you. Uh, comrade uh, Larsen, thank you for coming, making the effort to come all the way uh, from Denmark. It's really impressive. It is here in this place A 
Shed my pearly beads of sweat It is also here in this place That the dream of my youth came true I want to walk all and all Here in my dear Pyongyang Don't go away but stay with me Beautiful night of Pyongyang 